considering 0.1 m aqueous solutions of each of the following, which solution has the lowest pH? All salts, have pH more than 7, are created when a strong base reacts with weak acid except NaCl, have pH 7, which is created when a strong base, NaOH, reacts with strong acid, HCl. Of the following compound which has the lowest melting point, HCl would have a lower boiling point than silver chloride or calcium chloride because the dipole-dipole intermolecular forces between hydrogen chloride molecules in the liquid phase are weaker than the significantly stronger ionic forces holding the ions in silver chloride or calcium chloride together. HCl is polar while carbon tetrachloride and tin chloride are not, I would predict the intermolecular forces in HCl would be higher and thus give it a higher melting point than carbon tetrachloride and tin chloride. However the electronegativity difference trend in going down which would suggest less polarity, lower intermolecular forces and lower boiling points. Of the following solutions which will have the highest ionic strength. Assume complete dissociation. According to the following formula 0.05 molar aluminium chloride has highest ionic strength. The Kp for the reaction shown above is 0.26 at 1000 degrees Celsius and 40.8 at 1300 degrees Celsius. Which of the following combinations of delta H and delta S are most plausible for this reaction at these temperatures? The forward reaction is endothermic, increasing the temperature increases the value of the equilibrium constant. In an endothermic reaction, the products are higher in energy than the reactants. Therefore, the change in enthalpy is positive and heat is absorbed from the surroundings by the reaction. In an endothermic reaction, the change in entropy is positive. At a given temperature, the forward rate constant, K1, for the one-step reaction shown above is 4 multiply 10 power minus 7 per molar per second. Given that the equilibrium constant is 1 multiply 10 power minus 2, what is the reverse rate constant, K? By applying steady state approximation. Answer is option B. Given the standard molar entropies listed above, the standard reaction entropy, in joule per kelvin per mole for the decomposition of calcium carbonate into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide is. According to the following equation answer is option E. The Rydberg equation given above accurately predicts the UV visible emission spectrum of the hydrogen atom. A form of the Rydberg equation may also be used to predict the UV visible emission for all of the following except. There is a more general form of the Rydberg equation that works for any one electron system. But it only works for one electron systems, hydrogen is such a system. The reason is, the Schrödinger equation can only be solved exactly for one electron systems. Once you introduce more than one electron, the repulsions between the electrons and the attractions of the electrons to the nucleus give you too many unknowns to solve the problem exactly. Therefore, there is no equation we can write down for the energies of these systems. Thalic acid is a weak diprotic acid with dissociation constants above. The pH of an aqueous solution of potassium acid thalid, is closest to. Potassium hydrogen thalid is an acidic salt compound. Its pH value is in between 2.95 and 6.79. Which of the following is true for bromine at standard temperature and pressure? A it is a colorless gas. B. It is a red-brown volatile liquid. C. It is a colorless volatile liquid. D. It is a yellow metallic solid. E. It is a yellow insulating solid. 
Bromine at standard temperature and pressure is a red-brown volatile liquid. On the basis of oxidation reduction potential, which of the following is most likely to occur? One metal will displace another metal from the aqueous solution of its salt if it lies above in the electrochemical series. For example, zinc can displace silver from silver nitrate. 